What's going on everybody? Welcome to the third episode of Weird Bike Wednesday. Today I'm talking about probably what is my weirdest bike, but also one of my favorite bikes. I ride this bike all the time. I've been doing a lot more trail riding than road riding these days. Maryland has a lot of technical trails, but it also has a lot of uh, just nice and easy ones. And this bike is perfect for the nice and easy ones because I'm a beginner trail rider. So what makes this a weird bike? First of all, it's from an Italian manufacturer called Fagin. Uh, they made a lot of beautiful steel road bikes, but I never really heard of them making a mountain bike. It's got an Italian threaded bottom bracket, an Italian tube set, this is Oreo steel tubing, and it's got this weird one and one eighth inch head tube with a quill stem, so it's a threaded system, but it's one and one eighth inch. What else makes this bike weird? Well, it's the mixed parts that I have on here. I have a Japanese group set, French set of brakes, Japanese handlebars, a German lighting system, American wheel components. So it's definitely a very international build spec and also from different eras. So the group set is XTR stuff. It's M950 to M952 mix. That's crank set, front derailleur, rear derailleur, brake levers with integrated shifters. I probably will eventually match the e-brakes that would have come with this group set, but for now these Mayfac cantilever brakes are actually working really well and they're strong. The wheels that I have are Sun Ringlet Rhino Light rims. In the front it's paired with a Sun Dynamo hub, and in the back I'm using a Velo Orange Touring hub. For tires I'm running a set of Maxxis tires. In the front I'm running a Minion DHF 26 inch. And in the back, I'm running an Icon 26 inch. Speaking of the Dynamo lighting system, so I have the Sun Hub in the front, and I have that paired with a Supernova front light and a Supernova rear light. The frame itself doesn't have any internal wire routing, so the, the frame bag actually protects the, the wire for the rear light cable as it runs. Uh, along the top tube here. I do love running frame bags on all of my bikes. Uh, I think they're super convenient, especially if I want to carry like patch kits, tubes, pumps, food, things like that. And I, and I like to go out for kind of like day long rides, so the frame bag is really great. Uh, in order to accommodate the frame bag, what I actually did was I had to move the bottle cage down. So I moved it down one bolt, and then I electrical taped it to the frame here. What that does is it brings the bottle down so I can actually get it out easier, but it also brings the weight of the bottle down closer to the bottom bracket, and it is noticeable when I'm going downhill. I have a generic uh, seat post matched with a vintage surface saddle. I loved the sparkle. I thought it would match the kind of flashiness of the bike. The bike itself is really dirty, and that's because I do ride this bike a ton. Um, and I just haven't washed it yet. But maybe for the next video that I do with this bike, I'll have it cleaned up. Handlebars are by Simworks. That is the Little Nick bar. They're pretty wide, comfortable for trail riding. I also have a Roadrunner stem bag. I love this bag. I've had it for a few years now. I've run it on road bikes, trail bikes. It's really convenient to be able to grab food or your phone while you're riding. I also have a mount for my my Wahoo, it's an out from mount, and I'm using a quad lock adapter for my phone if I want to use directions because this used to be my commuter bike when I lived in New York. Part of the reason why I have the dynamo setup and everything like that. Pedals that I'm running are a set of ISSI pedals. They're also Shimano SPD compatible. I'm running Vans Colt grips, and I also have a Spurs Cycle valve. So that's it for the bike check. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go for a ride, get some shots, and I'll check in with you guys soon. Walking down to go pick up my bike. So this video is a little bit of a, an ode to the triple chain ring. I love having it. And I think, you know, we should give them more of a chance.
between yesterday and today, this tree right here uh, fell down. So uh, I think what we're gonna do is try, we're gonna ride up over this bridge, up this hill, and then maybe I'm gonna try this like B route here um, and see if that works. This is a log roll that I sometimes get a little bit nervous about. There's two heights to it. So there's a bigger one and a smaller one. I'm gonna try to do both. I'm gonna start with the small one. I'll do the big one and we'll see how it goes. I know I said it last week, but I'm genuinely happy about that. I'm gonna take it. All right guys, thanks so much for riding along with me today. If you haven't already, consider giving this video a like or subscribing to my channel. We're gonna be having more bike content, more dog content, and we'll see where this goes. But I appreciate you tuning in and stay tuned for the next time. I'll see ya.